This is a flick through review of Automate the Boring Stuff with Python by No Starch Press, the author's Al Zweigert. Um, and this, I think, is one of the best books for learning Python. It covers Python 3, so for Python 3. Um, I really like this book. It's been very useful for me uh, when I've been learning Python. And I'll quickly show you why that's the case. If we have a look at the contents. Um, now, like a lot of these books, it covers the, the syntax of Python, you know, the basics of Python, how Python works uh, in section one. But in part two, it covers the sort of tasks that you might like to attempt once you know a little bit about a language. And it takes you through them in great detail, explaining exactly why you're doing um, each step. Uh, and it really does help you to understand them. So what it, does it cover? Regular expressions, reading and writing files, organi organizing files, web scraping, working with Excel spreadsheets, PDF and Word documents. You can see these are very practical um, projects that uh, you really you know, would want to implement once you were able to um, grasp the basics of programming. Let's have a look at how the book covers the basics to begin with, and then we'll look at its section on regular expressions. So this is flow control, um, so for loops and uh, and while um, while loops and that kind of thing, and it's taking you through Boolean logic and Boolean operators here, uh, and so, so this is aimed at a beginner. Remember, and and it really does cover you know a lot of um, you know it goes into a lot of detail about uh, flow control. And it, what I like about these books is that they're very well laid out um, and, uh, and the way the code snippets are presented and explained, uh, I think, is incredibly useful. So those are how the um, four loops and the flow control is um, presented. And then if you see at the end here, you have practice questions. But moving on, what really sets this book apart, I think, is, is the part two. So let's look at the bit on regular expressions, which can be, um, you know, uh, confusing to begin with. There's a little introduction and um, it shows you um, how you might try to do things without uh, using regular expressions, really making the case for why regular expressions are as useful as they are. And then it takes you through the very basics from importing the library to explaining what a regular expression is, how it works, and how to build them up. And it goes into really quite a lot of detail on regular expressions. So as you work through the book, you can be in no doubt about why you're doing what you're doing. You know, sometimes I find when you're using these commands, if you haven't had it explained to you properly, you just do it because you've copied and pasted a bit of code from somewhere. You know it works, but you haven't really gone into why it works. It just does what you want it to do. And then when you want to do something else, you're not quite sure how to do it. Well, you won't have that problem if you go through this chapter on regular expressions. Um, and here we have a summary of, uh, of the regular of the regex symbols, the regular expression symbols that have been used. Uh, and, and so it goes on until you get to, um, you know, and you're working with real, real examples, by the way. You know, here you're looking for email addresses and phone numbers uh, of searching parts of those. Um, and then at the end, there's a summary, as you might expect. And then you've got these practice questions, which are very helpful indeed. Um, so that is what I like about this book. It's the way it covers these extra topics at the back. It's these little projects that show you how to put the Python that you've learned into practice. And here we're looking at now uh, reading and writing files. But all of these projects are extremely useful and have a very, you know, very practical use as well. And they will help you to understand and get to grips with the language, get used to writing the language and and exploring the potential of the language. You know, when I say the language, I'm talking about Python. So that's the book. Thoroughly recommended. It is um, available. Uh, you can uh, you can buy it from the link in the description under here under this video. Um, but it is also um, there's it, there's an electronic version that is freely available. There's a website which you can go to and you can you can get all the content there for free. It's provided by the author. If this has been helpful to you, this review, then please do think about subscribing or liking the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you next time.